An important note before we get started, this video is a little bit dry, but if you watch it once and implement what I show you, you can dramatically boost your conversions and commissions forever. Watch it till the end and I promise you, you'll thank yourself later. Hey everybody, how's it going? Nate McAllister here from Evergreen Affiliate Marketing. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add coupons directly into WordPress. It's really simple, just requires a little plugin that does not slow down your site and it's pretty affordable. So let's hop into my computer. I'm gonna show you how I'm adding these right now on a Black Friday deals page. Okay, so here we are inside of the blog post that I want to add these coupons to. I've already added one and ironically, it's very meta. I added the WP coupons code Black Friday discount on there. So if you're watching this before the end of Black Friday, you can still get this discount. It's pretty sweet. It is 40% off every tier. And keeping in mind that I paid $399 last year for a lifetime unlimited license. But here is the short code right there. Let me show you what that looks like so you can kind of get an idea of what you're getting here. Keep in mind there's a million different design options. So here we have the, the coupon. And we can do a couple things. So I have it set that the code is hidden. So when you click on show code, it's going to pop up. It's gonna show the code and they can copy it and then they can click go to offer. You can change that and make it much more simple. But now I have that code copy so I can just go to buy and paste the code and I'm good to go. So this is gonna really help with your affiliate conversions if you have a coupon code that is assigned to you. This one in particular is not assigned to me. It's just a general Black Friday coupon code. But if they click that link to get here, I should be cookied and should get paid, right? So anyone who buys this, thank you, getting paid, I appreciate that. All right, so let's actually get into the creation process of a coupon and WP coupons and deals, all right? Okay, so let's go ahead and start by getting into the settings and making sure that that is all set up correctly before we get ahead of ourselves. So come on into the plugin, it should be somewhere here in the middle, it might be down here in settings or tools, mine shows up right here in the middle. So what I wanna do first is come into settings, Click on that. I recommend that you pause the screen and just emulate what I have here. This is what I think is the best default. Um, it just really has, has worked well for me. And if you, if you try to change too much, it can get a little bit messy. There's a few features that I don't love that just don't really look correct to me. One of those is the social share buttons in coupons. I've had that ticked off. It just looks a little bit odd to me and sometimes depending on the uh, design that you use you can't even see them so unless you know how to do a little bit of css i'm i would recommend turning the share buttons off and essentially what that is going to do is it's going to let people share the discount page and i didn't really find that many people were sharing it anyway so i just kind of leave that that off but you're welcome to turn it on and see if it looks better for you than it did for me but everything else here featured image i have that set to vendor image that's going to be the logo of the product. You can also set it to category image, which is a time saver because then you don't have to do a vendor image every single time. So if you just have like two or three categories and you just wanna put a basic logo on there that's like, it says productivity or fitness or whatever it is, you can do that and it'll show that there by default. But I like to use the vendor image. I think having the brand logo helps. The only drawback to that is that sometimes the, the logos are like, if they're long, they might not look great. The best types of logos are square or circular, so you might have to uh, mess with those a little bit or get creative with the, the logos because you don't want long logos. It kind of makes it look a little bit weird. Okay, archive menu categories. I don't really mess with the archive menus. You're able to take one piece of code and then have a bunch of coupons that are in that category appear. So you just put one piece of code and then it shows all those coupons. I don't really do that. I just put them in manually. So if you want to do that, you can, but I just have that just as category navigation. I wouldn't worry too much about that. Infinite scroll and archive set infinite scroll instead of pagination. I just leave that blank. Cause like I said, I don't use that feature. Word counts to add more or less link. So, what I do is I put 20 words, and then if they want to read more than that, if I've written more than 20 words, they will just go ahead and click the view more. 
And what that does is it, it helps the coupon kind of keep the same size. Some of my descriptions might be a hundred words, which would be you know a lot, and it would really make the coupon code look a little bit janky. So I make it so they just have to click view more, and then they can read the whole thing if they want. So I think 20 is a pretty good number for that. You can adjust that to more or less, but I think 20 is a good number that keeps it nice and balanced. Coupon button hover text. I've edited these a little bit, I believe. You can just keep whatever you had there by default, or you can change them to what I have. The expiration date format, I like to have that in month, date, year. If you're in a different country where it's not as normal to do June 27th, 2021, you can change that to whatever you want. Hide coupon when it's expired. You can do that like for this uh, post that I'm doing with the Black Friday deals. I could do that. I'm going to keep it up because I'm going to run the same post next year and I'll just edit everything. So I'll keep it up there because who knows, maybe the, some of these companies will keep the deals going. You know, sometimes it happens, usually it doesn't, but we shall see. All right, coupon title tag. This one is really important because if you have it as an H2 and you do a table of contents and you have the H2s appear in the table of contents, it's gonna show up. So let me show you what I'm talking about. One of the features that I love about Thrive Themes is that it lets me do tables of contents. I think it's so cool. It lets people kind of jump around to whatever area they want to see. However, I have them filtered where these tables, what's making them look this way is that they're H2s. So if I have WP coupons set as H2s, it's going to put a really wonky coupon code inside the table of contents. So I recommend making that either an H3, definitely don't make it an H1. That will be a disaster. I would make it something an H3 or less if you uh, want to, to make sure that you don't accidentally mess up the structure of your site. So H3 or below. And like I said, enable social share. I don't do that anymore. I never found that it was really doing anything. Enable print links for coupons, deals, and images. This is really cool, but it doesn't apply to anything that I promote. Basically, you can have people print coupons. So this is great if you have like a legitimate coupon focus site where you do coupons for like Walmart and stuff. You can have them print that and actually will give you like a barcode. It's really cool, but not something that I use. If you use that, awesome. Design settings. Here you can edit all your default colors. That is something that, you know, I would try to make it as close to your brand as possible. I really haven't customized mine. These are just the basic ones that come with, but you can if you want. I think it's it's nothing wrong with it. I just use these because it actually kind of makes them pop out from the site because they're not the same branded colors. That's just my logic there, and I'm being a little bit lazy about it. I found sometimes that when I try to do too much design-wise, I make it look worse. So I just keep it right that. All right. Custom CSS. You can add custom CSS to do different design things. CSS is the code that allows you to change the look and format and layout of, of things. So you could do a lot here, but if you don't know CSS, lay off this because it can mess things up. You could do things like add shadows. You could change the default font. You could do a lot of stuff, but I recommend avoiding that unless you're really good with CSS or hire a professional. Okay. This is an option that I like voting settings. You can have people, I just recently turned this on. Uh, you allow people to vote on deals. So basically they're saying, did it work? Or did they, uh, did they like it? So basically you can turn that on and it's gonna show up inside of the bottom right of the coupon. It's a cool feature. It kind of shows that other people are engaging with the content or with the coupon. Hidden coupon code text, just leave these by default. If you want, you might want to shrink it a little bit depending on the, the width of your pages. If your pages are really tight and narrow, you might want to shrink this up a little bit. So you might want to say, like click here, click here to see, this is a little bit shorter, okay? Okay, pop-up settings. This is gonna be what pops up when they click on a link uh, that has a copy code option. This is basically going to be the same thing as the description. This is going to show it in a different format. It's going to show an option for them to copy the code and then go to the offer. I would recommend just leaving it as it is. Enable go to offer button. That's pretty basic, right? Extras. I have pretty much all these turned off. Affiliate link in current tab. 
I like to open the affiliate links and the new tab because I want them to come back to the page. So I have that turned off. So if you want to open it in the current tab, you can. I don't like doing that. Link the featured image. I turn that off because my formatting does things that like underlines URLs. And if I have a URL in the image, for some reason, it underlines it. And I just don't see any reason to have that link there. So basically, it's, it's going to let you send people to the affiliate link if they click on the logo. But I don't think that that's really necessary because if they want to click it, they'll just click on the button. Disable link and coupon title. I have that off. I think, why not? Just let them have the link. Disable navigation, blah, blah, blah. Leave that empty. Hide featured image. No, I wouldn't hide featured image. Coupon type name. Coupon, deal, all coupons. Enable stat count. This is cool. It lets you see how many people are clicking and viewing the coupon. That is nice for social proof. Okay. And then finally, you have form short code. The only thing you need to make sure of is in, unless you want people to be able to add their own coupons, which I think is madness, unless you have like a coupon site and you're trying to crowdsource all the deals. I just have these ticked off. And then again, just copy pretty much everything I have here as far as publish, uh, split, and the default template set to all. All right, that's it. So let's actually get in here and create a coupon code. So let's come over here to add new coupon. And then let's just make the next product coupon that we need here. And that's going to be for Elementor Pro. So let's go ahead and just start. Let's keep it with the same format as this one above. So I'm going to just actually copy that. I'll call it 10. All right. And this one is different. This is not a coupon. This one is a deal because there is no coupon code, I believe. Let me see. Yeah, there's no coupon code. It's just straight to the link. So this one is going to be a deal. So I'll say, call it claim now. And for the link, I'll put my affiliate link there, which is this. All right. And then I'm going to show the expiration, which is six days, 10 hours. I believe that is one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. And then for the template, I'm going to do, you have a lot of different templates here. I'm going to do template one. And then over here under categories, I'm going to select. Actually, I don't have a category for that. So, oh no, I do marketing tools. And then add coupon vendor. I'm going to call this Elementor Pro. I'm going to add vendor and then I'm going to set my featured image, which is just going to be that logo for Elementor Pro. Like I said, when they're long logos, they don't look great. I'm just going to have to deal with it for now. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else I need to do. I think that's pretty good. Go ahead and click publish. And now the last part up here, we copy the full coupon code, just that little snippet. And then I'm going to come into edit doesn't matter what WordPress editor you use. You just have to put this little short code in there. As long as you have WP coupons and deals installed, it'll translate this short code into the actual coupon display. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Paste that there, wait for it to save, and then we'll preview it and make sure that it actually shows up. And there it is. It's pretty good, right? Again, I don't love how these look when they when they have the uh, longer logos, but we work with what we got. All right, so let's do one more. Let's do one that actually has a, a coupon code, so something that they actually have to paste in there. Okay, so let me see if I can find one that has a discount code. BF2021, okay. So let's go ahead and add new coupon. Because remember, that one was a deal. Now we need an actual coupon. And then we're going to keep the same formatting. Paste that coupon code there while I still remember it. Copy that URL. And I just want to make sure I'm keeping with that same formatting. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to call this 60% off pretty links for Black Friday. 
Okay, let's do template one again. And then just like before, we're gonna call this marketing tools. And we're gonna, actually I've already created one for this in the past, no I haven't. All right, let's do uh, pretty links as the vendor. Add that, and let's set the featured image. I'm just gonna grab that pretty links logo if I have it. Pretty links. Now I might need to fix this one because that's gonna be a white background. Okay, but for now let's just publish it. And see what it looks like. Again, let's copy that code. Save it. And there it is. I'll go in, I'll edit this so it's not white. I'll make, I'll remove that background. But for now, it's looking pretty good. So this one's gonna be different. When we click on the clip, it's gonna open up the deal and it's gonna save that to our clipboard. Okay. All right, guys, that is it. That is how you create coupon codes in WP coupons and deals. Hopefully you use this because I'm telling you it has boosted my conversions on any post that I've used these on. It's really cool. Definitely leverage it. And again, if this is your first time to the channel and you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that if you want two to three affiliate marketing related videos every week. All right, I will see y'all in the next video.